Ну! My name is Jack, and I've spent the past few years traveling all over the globe to find some of nature's most unique and dangerous animals. My goal? To show the world that even the most bizarre, or perhaps even deadly life forms on Earth deserve both our respect and our appreciation. Now this mission has pushed me to the extreme through a particularly painful series of sting tests. Now I do these tests to showcase how these animals would much rather avoid us than waste their precious venom stinging for no reason. Of course, when they do feel threatened, many species are capable of delivering a wicked sting that even I can have a difficult time with. In today's video, we will be taking a look at my top five worst and most painful stings I've endured over the years, and ranking one sting above all. Curious to see how these sting tests line up? Let's take a look. Our first stop on this ranking journey takes us to the piney forests of southern Oklahoma, where I endured multiple excruciating stings from the fearsome cow killer or velvet ant. These flightless wasps are infamous for their powerful sting, and after trying a sting once before, I was starting to think that this had been greatly exaggerated. I'm glad I set out to retest this sting, however, as it comes in at number five for both intensity and overall pain. Let's take a look at the Velvet Ant sting. Okay, as you can see, my arm is quite beat up. My finger is nice and pink, um, but I still wanted to get one more sting in for you guys, so we, we persevered and we hiked all the way out to get uh, my, my set of tweezers here. Hopefully, it'll be a little bit easier. There she is. You can hear her. That means it's bad true. Okay. Man, that's a long stinger. All right, so we're going to try this one last time. Full sting, not a tiny... Not a tiny quitter sting, but a good proper sting. How's that look? Good. All right, here we go, folks. So that is one, two, three, four total stings, all of which I might even begin to classify at the excruciating level. Um, I'm very impressed. Uh, it's like one step above a hot poker. So if you, you know, take a blowtorch and you know, you heat up like a nail or something, and then you attach that nail to, uh, I don't know, a car battery, and then you stick it in your arm. 
I'd say that would be about one-tenth the pain I just endured. No, I, I would say that that would be probably about what this animal sting feels like, which is pretty bad. Um, I, for one, don't like to be stuck with molten uh, metal that's then electrocuted uh, through me, but um, I would say that, that I... I don't know. I, I might say that uh, this sting could maybe contend and potentially dethrone uh, my, my Polistes stings. Um, that was incredibly painful, uh, albeit short-lived, extremely intense um, and extremely sharp. Uh, as far as like on a scale of one to 10, I don't know. I, I, I would put that at a, a, very, a very painful six, perhaps. Um, duration is also not too bad. Uh, these animals uh, really aren't um, aren't going to leave you with like a lasting kind of stinging sensation, uh, but uh, they are quite powerful. We're going to hop on a plane and take a quick flight down to the beautiful jungles of Costa Rica for our second stop. Coming in at number four on the list is the fearsome executioner wasp. These massive social wasps pack an insane wallop and have been claimed to be among some of the most painful stinging insects on earth. So of course, I had to try it for myself. The initial pain was intense, but it faded fairly quickly, landing this impressive insect lower on the list than you may have expected. Nonetheless, let's take a look at the stinging power of the executioner wasp. Now, these wasps are predatory, like all other paper wasps, and they vehemently can defend their nests with this painful sting as well. So it's gonna be interesting to see if this very, very large wasp packs a punch. So we're gonna try and get this gal out and try and get a sting. Goodness. They're just like twisting and twisting itself. All right, here we go. Ready for the sting, Polistes carnifex, the executioner wasp. Supposedly the most painful stinging insect on the planet. Let's go, look at that stinger. Come on. Oh, wow, actually, that is definitely worse than the warrior wasp. Oh, look at that stinger. Oh my gosh. Oh, oh, don't fly away. Oh, come here. Wow. You can see these are not aggressive animals at all. Such cool animals. We're actually gonna put her back in a container so I can get her back to where her nest was. But, oh my gosh, my arm, look at me. My arm shaking. That was a good sting. I don't know that I would rank it crazy above bullet ant, but it was definitely on par. That was impressive. I really, really enjoyed that. And we're gonna see just how much the executioner actually does. So, awesome. Okay, a little five minute update from our lovely executioner. You can see I actually got stung twice here, or my first welt, my second welt, but you can see I'm kind of flush. I feel it's kind of like my, it's kind of like almost like you're, when you're hanging upside down, you know, the blood kind of rushes to your head. That's kind of how I feel right now, which is very strange. That's a sensation that I haven't experienced before with a sting, uh, but really, really cool, really interesting. I'm, I'm, I'm impressed. I'm glad that it wasn't just a nothing sting. Uh, but definitely not something that caused me to, to lose any sense of uh, autonomy, my body autonomy. I was able to compose myself, and I'm still able to talk. This is only a few minutes after the initial sting. But, uh, wow, Ballistis Carnifex. Who knew? Coming in at number three has got to be this Asian forest scorpion I endured a sting from while filming in Thailand back in 2019. Not only was the stinger massive and tore through my skin, but the inflammation and itchiness persisted for weeks. It's possible this sting could have become infected too, but as far as sheer pain and duration of effects, this giant scorpion sting lands at an impressive spot at number three on the list. Let's take a look at the Asian forest scorpion sting. I have the cutest fuzziest little creature in my hands right now. It's so adorable and so cute. Come in and take a look. Surprise! It's a giant Asian forest scorpion. It's not fuzzy or cute at all. It's a giant 
creature with huge pinchers and an enormous stinger. Okay, so without further ado, I have my trusty forceps. We're gonna coax the scorpion up onto my upper arm here. And we are going to take a sting. Because why not? You gotta have a sting if you find a scorpion, right? That is a formidable, whoop, whoop, formidable. All right, get real close up for this one. This is gonna be, this is gonna be the, the nice close up shot. All right, here we go. You ready? Come on. Nope, you're stinging the wrong thing. You're stinging the wrong thing. Come on. You got it, you got it. <laughs> She's having a little trouble figuring out what exactly is going on here. Oh, 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 there she goes, there she goes. Did you see a stinger going? All right, let's see if she can do it again. Come on, come on. Yep, yep, yep. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Woo! Yeah, 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 you got a little kick to you, don't you, dear? Yeah, it hurts. <laughs> it hurts. I'd say, yeah, about comparable to a bee sting. Look at that. Take a look at that sting right there. You can see my skin. Actually, there is a drop of white milky venom on the tip of the stinger. If she'll stay still enough. Look at that. That is crazy. At first I thought it was a piece of my skin that got torn off. <laughs> but no, it is venom. So they do have a pretty high venom yield, which means they're capable of storing quite a bit of venom uh, in their stinger. Yeah, that actually really kind of hurts. You can see all the mud and gunk around it. I'm probably gonna have to wash it so it doesn't get infected. But um, very, very interesting. All right, bye dear, give me a kiss. <laughs> she almost stung me on the lips. So let that be uh, a lesson for all of you. Try not to kiss scorpions, no matter how tempting it may be. It should come as no surprise that at number two on my list is the iconic bullet ant. These monstrous insects are actually quite shy in nature and are easily one of my favorite insect species on earth. The sting from these ants is incredibly intense and painful, and the effects persist for hours or even days before relief sets in. A powerful neurotoxic blend lands these massive ants in their rightful place at number two, and I think you can all see why. Let's dive right in to the bullet ant sting test. So here we go, Parapana clavata, the bullet ant. Supposedly the most painful stinging insect in the entire world. Um, here we go. Four out of four on the Schmidt Pain Index. Come on, dear. Oh! <laughs> yeah, yeah, it is, uh, uh, it's, um... Oh, man, oh, man, it's definitely worse than the tarantula hawk wasp! Look, you see her stinger still inside me? She hasn't even pulled it out yet. Ah, she's still pumping in there. It's again, um, it's a very painful sting, um, but honestly, it's, it's bearable. I'm not, I'm not like rolling around on the ground or anything, but, um, she's still, she's still <laughs> pumping venom into me. I'm just going to let her go. I don't, I don't care. Um, Peraponder clavata is a very, very, um, uh, very large species. Oh, gosh. All right, dude, that's enough of that. You can see her stinger is still very much inside of me. Look, look, let's see the stinger. Oh, 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 oh. Ah, ah, she's biting at it. Oh. Okay, come on, dear. Oh, look at the stinger, look at the stinger. Do you see the stinger? Oh. <laughs> she just won't come out. Oh, well, it's fine. Um, again, it is a very painful sting, um, but um, it's not really immediate. It's like a like a growing um, pain that's coming out. Oh yeah, sure. Just eat some eat some banana off of my arm there. Why don't you? <laughs> wow, that is um, it's like a, 
I don't know, it's like the surrounding area, you can see it's already getting red all over my arm. Um, it's like uh, like a burning pain, but it's also like tensing your muscles. It's like a, like a, like everything's just contracted. Um, wow, that is very big. There we go. Look, you can see the actual sting there, right underneath her. She just goes right back to cleaning herself, like nothing, nothing ever happened. Oh, she's gonna clean her, clean her, clean her stinger now because it's so dirty. There's the sting. Wow, I can't stop my arm from shaking. Yeah, I noticed. Um. <laughs> well, anyway, almost as anticlimactic as the tarantula hawk wasp. Um, a lot of stinging insects get a pretty bad reputation. A lot of people think that um, they sting very, very hard or that they're super, super uh, dangerous. But really, all of this sting is doing is um, mimicking the, the pain receptors in my arm and telling my brain that it's really, really hurting me. Um, and that's actually the adaptation of most of the stinging insects, uh, Hymenoptera, which are ants, bees, and wasps. It's just to um, make an attacker feel like it's really, really getting hurt by something when it's actually really not. But you can see there the initial sting. She is quite pleased with herself. <laughs> Last, but certainly not least, is our number one most painful sting, the Greater Banded Hornet. A slightly smaller cousin to the Asian Giant Hornet, these gigantic hornets pack the most electrifying and intense sting I've endured to date. Equipped with a massive stinger and large venom yield, a sting from just one of these hornets can ruin your day, if not your entire week. Safe to say, I was almost shocked by the reaction I had with this sting, and it remains locked in its number one spot even four years later. My search will continue for a sting more intense than this one, but until that day comes, let's take a look back at the Greater Banded Hornet Sting. So let's let's try grabbing it again. All right, here we go. All right, wait, All right you wait, ready? Wait, you ready? Wait, no. Wait, not ready. Okay, go. All right, here we go. Oh! 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 oh, oh, oh. Ah! Wow! Wow! Okay! 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 <laughs> wow! Okay! Finally! Something that actually hurts! <laughs> wow! Look at that! Look at that! That is immediate pain! Immediate pain! Look, it's even, it even bit into my arm. Those are the mandible marks. Oh my gosh! My, my arms are shaking right now. Okay, so yeah, um, that's terrible. That's the worst thing I've, I've ever had. My, my, wow. You can see if the stinger went in, you can see my arm is already getting super red. This is by far the worst sting I've ever had. It'll be interesting to see how long this lasts. So this essentially is like uh, very electric um, in, in my hands. It's very um, buzzy, <laughs> I don't know how to explain that. But the initial sting is very hot and very wide about, I would say probably maybe half an inch diameter um, of just searing heat, a very hot, localized pain. Wow. I mean, it's crazy. I'm feeling it in this hand, too. That is bizarre. So you can take a look. I'm really bleeding right there. Wow, I'm impressed. <laughs> I am very impressed. Wow, that really hurts. What? I'm kind of considering trying it now that You should. It's it's crazy. Oh my gosh. Okay, so it did get me a second time. Look, it's starting to bleed there. That's very interesting. 
very interesting effect so far. You can see some light bruising under the skin. Come closer and get some of this. Yeah, you can see it's starting to tense up a little bit as well. Very tight, just like the bullet ant sting. Wow, and this is a big stinger. We're talking about a fourth of an inch long, if not even longer. That is a massive wasp. Drew blood, that much blood. The only other time I've had blood drawn was from the blue ant, the blue bottle wasp in Australia. Wow. Okay. That, uh, that's the Thai tiger wasp for you. Enormous hornets, giant, cannibalistic. I, I'm impressed. I really am because normally when I do these sting videos, I'm always, I'm always kind of disappointed that it doesn't hurt quite as much, but I could not stop myself from screaming. I could not stop myself from screaming at this sting. Look at that. Look how much it's already starting to welt up. It's very, very tight. It's probably going to have localized fever like the bullet ant sting, but all in all, still just a wasp. I'm not dead. I didn't faint. I didn't pass out. I'm okay. My arm hurts, but uh, that's just what, <laughs> that's what stings do. I, I don't... I don't know what else is supposed to happen. Vespa tropica, one of the largest wasps in the world, one of the most painfully stinging insects by far. Ain't nothing but a thing. Look at that. That, it's very, very warm to the touch now. Very warm, very hot. That is fascinating. You know what? I am going to see if I can get her to walk around on my arm. All right, come here, dear. You can walk on out. Thai tiger wasp. <coughs> my hands are shaking. Oh, oh, please don't fly away. I want you to sit on there. Beautiful wasps. Absolutely huge. Oh, there she goes. Wow. Well, there you have it. I know many of you have been asking for more in-depth ranking of my stings and maybe even a possible Jack Sting Index, and I want you to know that this has not fallen on deaf ears. I have a few more species to cross off before I can articulate and start my own sting index, but it's something I am working to create in the future, so don't you worry. Now I hope you all enjoyed this video looking back at some of my most painful and ironically enough, some of my favorite sting tests I've done for the channel so far. I absolutely love showcasing not just the power that these animals possess, but their fantastic array of behavior as well. These animals will of course defend their lives should the need arise, but for the most part, they are happy to leave us alone if we do the same. Remember, even these stinging insects and other arthropods are important members of their respective ecosystems. They serve a vital role in maintaining the health of the biological communities they are a part of. We don't have to love wasps or ants or even scorpions to appreciate that we benefit from their existence. So be kind to your fellow earthlings. They're just as scared of you as you are of them. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.